All right, so James, can't really start without talking about that Leeds win on Sunday. Magnificent win to come from behind. What was that like, the experience of that second leg? Uh, I think the boys did a really good job. I think we, you know, we, we approached the game in a, in a sp very specific way, stuck to what we, you know, stuck to our guns in terms of how we wanted to play, and we executed things very, very effectively. I think the disappointing thing in the first leg was that we, we were just very inaccurate in what we did, which, which let Leeds into the game and eventually, obviously, led them to, to have that lead going into the second leg. But you know, we stuck to our guns and, and performed very well. And what does a performance like that say about the character and the personality of this team to come back from that first leg deficit to come through 15-6 on Sunday? No, it's something we've known about the whole time, which is why the first leg was such a disappointment, because we know we've got sort of a good team spirit, good character within the squad. So for a big game and then to go away and let ourselves down was, was annoying. So it's a good job we put it right, you know. I think it's, it's something you need to go up into the Premier League with a good character. So hopefully we can take that into the, pro, uh, into the final and use that character and the team spirit and togetherness to, uh, to help us through those two games. Well, let's take it one step at a time. Obviously, the British and Irish Cup final coming up on Friday against Leinster. A first chance of silverware this season. You looking forward to it? Yeah, no, I can't wait. Um, like I say, it's for a sort of to get any silverware in a, in a season, you can't take lightly. So, uh, we're you know we've given it our all to put some silverware onto a shelf for the club. And Leinster on Friday, what sort of weapons are they going to bring here to Kingston Park? I think everyone is involved in that, you know, in that Leinster culture and in the club. No matter whether it's the first team or their or their, maybe their younger team, obviously, which we'll be playing against. Um, they, you know, they, they come through the same excellent coaching, the same system, and I expect you know their core skills are very, very high quality. And they've got some dangerous guys. You know, they, they, the fly half looks very, very handy. Um, a couple of their guys out wide, the back three look looked you know look very good on counter attack. So. Um, you know, on top of that, there's you know, a number of challenges up front as well, and we've had a good chance to look at them, and you know, we've got a plan put together. And what could a trophy win on Friday do for the confidence of a team heading into that playoff final with Bedford Blues? Yeah, well, I think it'd just be it's confidence to be it'd be good for it, wouldn't it? And be nice there to go in with sort of everybody a little spring in their step and to the confidence high into these last two games. And some great support here on Sunday, of course, uh, against Leeds. How much of an edge is that going to give the boys ahead of Leinster? Ah, uh, really big. I think. You know, this place just comes alive when you get once you break that kind of seven barrier. It, it really, really feels you know, the atmosphere is outstanding. You know, we, we always got great noise from the core of fans, but once we get those numbers through the door, it just it does it does lift the boys and you know it just helps us.